Oh, we hear it about, about it almost every day, the opioid overdoses that lead to jail, even death. As we continue our journey to find what's helping break the cycle, ABC 6's Maria Durant shows us one soon to open home that may provide hope for women. She heard about me. Cheryl Beverly's reputation is spreading. She wants me to send her some information because she wants to come here. Even before the doors to her sober living home opens. She just wrote me yesterday. Women already wanting to live here. The letters pouring in. I'm wanting all the information you can give me about your halfway house. I was also excited to hear there was one in Chillicothe. It's called Cheryl's House of Hope. Cheryl opening up her home, now able to house up to five women in need of a safe place to continue their recovery from addiction. I want to do this because um, it's it, right now we're in a situation that if nobody does it, um, it, it's going to get worse. It's already bad. Cheryl has her own personal connection with heroin. Two of her sons are recovering addicts. One son is still in prison today. She says the best way to beat an addiction is with help. So here, women can stay for up to a year. She will even help them find a job. There is businesses that will hire them, so they'll have a job, and then after their 30 days, they will start paying $200 a month that will help help them with you know responsibilities. My son donated. The money will help pay the house bills. The house still in need of a few final touches. I need four twin beds. And although she can only take in five women. One actually stays here. This small number. The one tomorrow that comes will stay here. Can make a big impact in someone's life. I might not have a lot of funding, but I have you know, open arms. In Chillicothe, I'm Maria Durant, ABC 6 News. As of today, one woman is now living in Cheryl's home. If you'd like to support the house, just check out our website. Look for this story and click on news links.